So when it comes to English translations of the meaning of the Quran, there are two main resources that I personally use. Firstly, we have the Noble Quran. And this translation was by Dr. Muhammad Taqiyuddin Al-Hilali and Dr. Muhammad Mohsin Khan. And this is what they print at the King Fahid Complex in Medina, Saudi Arabia. As you can see, they have the Arabic, they have the English, and then they have quite a bit of footnotes. This is probably the most accurate translation that I've come across in terms of properly conveying the meaning of the verses of the Quran. However, due to the fact that there are a lot of things in brackets and parentheses, it's not quite as smooth a read as some of the other translations. So that being the case, one thing that you can do is go to Quran.com, click the settings, and then go down to the translations. And what I like to do is I'll pick the previously mentioned translation along with Sahih International. And then once you go back, you will find that you have the Arabic and then you have both translations. You have Sahih International and the one by Taqiyadin al-Hilali and Muhsin Khan. And as you can see as well, the Sahih International is shorter. It doesn't have so much in brackets and parentheses. So it's, you know, it's a bit of a smoother read. However, um, I, be I still believe that the other translation is, is more accurate in terms of properly conveying the meaning. So one thing you might want to try is just having both of these translations available. And, you know, perhaps you can just read the Sahih International as you're going through. And then if need be, just check the other translation if you'd like some more detail. And both provide footnotes. So you'll see a little blue link that you can always click um, for more information regarding a particular verse. And another great thing about this website is even though you might not understand Arabic, you can click the play button and you can actually listen to the Arabic recitation. And this is something that really blew me away when I first found out about it because I read an English translation of the Quran, but I didn't even realize that it was preserved in Arabic and that it was this amazing, beautiful oral recitation. So I uh, definitely recommend that website. And those are the two translations that I personally use and some of the pros and cons to either.